Hi everyone. So in our previous video, we did the customer's feedback section and the next one is the last of this particular project. Yeah. And that's the footer. So in our footer, first of all, we have the logo and the, you know, border for that particular full dev is going on border bottom. Okay. Then we have uh, basically three different, uh, you know, devs and we're going to use a grid display for that and then right after that we have a little bit of copyrights text and over here there is a list going on so we will have a list and then we would have it styled accordingly so first of all this is the structure for this particular one which we need to design so let's back to our project in our visual studio code and now this is the last one so really i don't need this placeholder let me first take it out yeah this one save it save it and back to our project and see now there is nothing at the bottom for this one but now the footer is gonna come in a second so that's my footer section so let me have the footer element okay and everything inside the footer is gonna come in a container yeah and let me put that actually give it a little bit of space right okay so footer dot footer underscore underscore logo this is gonna hold my footer logo that's gonna be in a different color so i already have that in the assets so logo and then dash dash img and the source is going to be logo light dot png okay so let's have a look so here is our logo really big one at the moment actually let's start styling this as well as uh, I will be putting more contents okay so <clears throat> in our main dot CSS right after this I'm gonna have footer so first thing for the footer element this is not the class this is the footer element yeah the class is here dot so that's why I'm not using this foot dot notation over here so you know, see like you know just uh, keep in mind that which element you are selecting so background color this is going to be black color black and the font color on this one is going to be white color white and actually not white i will have it primary color four yeah then i'm gonna have some padding five ram on the top and bottom and zero on the left and right okay i was missing one terminator here so let's have a look so this is our black footer at the moment now i can select the dot footer class and you must be wondering that we don't have it we have it actually underscore underscore logo no problem i can have it ampersand and underscore underscore logo yeah so text align i'm gonna have it center padding bottom actually i'm gonna have two ram why i'm why i'm giving it right now because once i set the size of it so and then i set the border bottom uh so that should not be immediately after this logo there should be some space in there so i've set it right now let's set the okay actually before i do that because this big size of the logo is really bothering me so height of that is going to be eight ram and if that's the case so now this is really looking fine yeah okay now i can include the border include border and one pixel primary color four and i just need to have at bottom bottom so you remember this is the mix and i'm calling in and here is my border over here all right now right after this when i'm gonna put the next contents these three sections so they would come right from this border but rather than that i would need a little bit of space let me put it right now i know that that's gonna come before even i put the contents so margin bottom and i'll push that down by two ram okay so nothing is gonna be visible as of now because there is no content so but once i put the contents for sure then that two ram margin bottom will come into picture all right so i have this uh, logo the next thing within that now i'm gonna have the details so i'm gonna have one master dev 
and then within that i'm going to have three divs to hold the th the, the, the three three different sections of the footer and in the master div i'm going to have a display uh, set the display as grid yeah so this is going to call to be called footer details yeah that's my master one now within that the first one is going to be details and then about us the second one in fact let's do that footer details and i'm gonna have catalog just a list of that and the third one is going to be footer underscore underscore details and then what it is contact details yeah okay so these are the three divs now let me put let me start putting the details about uh, about us okay within that i have a heading and then i have a text that's it so let me use h2 dot footer underscore underscore details then about us and then heading and it's simply gonna say about us yeah and after that i'm gonna have a paragraph element footer underscore underscore details then about us and then text and in that i'm simply gonna have some lorem epsom text so let's have a look so this is what it is coming as of now and all of the other divs which are blank they are coming they are coming from top to bottom but don't worry i will start setting that up actually so right in here so this is the name is footer underscore underscore details yeah so i'm already in dot footer class so here i can simply have underscore underscore details and let me set the display as grid grid template columns so the first one i need for two fraction that's a, then one fraction for the second one and then two fractions and i only have one row so i can use the column gap and that's going to be three rem okay so now okay still it is not looking as i want but don't worry as the content will be there so then this is gonna be fine or if there is anything no this one i'm missing actually yeah here okay so footer underscore underscore details so still the other two sh are here this is one fraction in the middle and then two fraction on the right to have the contact details okay so for this one now i can have about us and within that the first thing is heading and i have another one in that one that's text yeah so this is the heading and then this is the text so i can select both of these so font size 2 rem font weight maybe 400 text transform that's going to be uppercase and let me include a border so that's going to be one pixel primary color four and only on the bottom yeah so that uh, the quotes the text which you can pass uh, in the arguments with or without the quotes so that's not an issue okay so here is it here is the border for that at the bottom but i just need to push it a little bit down the border as well for that i would set the padding and to push this text down i would use the margin so padding bottom that's going to be two rem and see my border is pushed down but to push this text down for that i'm going to use margin bottom and that's going to be one rem and here it is now the text is a little bit down now let's set the text also so for the text the font size and that's going to be 1.5 rem letter spacing and that's going to be let's use two pixels and line height and 2.5 rem okay so let's go back and have a look and here is our text all right well that's the first uh, uh, content of the three for the footer and i think that's it for this video the next in the next video we're going to set up the remaining two so i'll see you there